Oh, it wants to get sideways. Um, so apparently we're just gonna get this car sideways because it just wants to. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and today we are on Forza 7 to look at the K1 Speed Forza Motorsport 7 car pack. As you can see right here, the cars have been delivered to my garage. The 1948 Ferrari 166 Intersport, and then the uh, 1966 Porsche 906 Carrera 6, that Chevy number 76 Greenwood Corvette, Porsche 924 Carrera GTS is definitely a car I'm looking forward to getting behind the wheel of. The Nissan number 83 GTP ZX Turbo Maserati is another one I want to get behind. And then we have a Honda Odyssey, which I could see uh, drift vans in the near future of Forza. So all those cars just got added to my garage and I kicked up my collector score. So before we go do that, we are going to check the special vendors, see what we got going on in the special vendors. We got another 458. So if you did not do a 458 drift build, now would be the time to get that 458 and get that Y body on there. And then we have the Zonda, the Legacy, and the TVR. So like I said, we are here today to check out those cars from the new car pack. So we're just going to hop right into it. And, uh, and we're just going to run them how they are stock and, uh, you know, have a little fun with them and see how they do. Whether we do a build on one of them now or we wait for another episode to do a build, we will find out. I will probably wait to do some drift builds or some builds on those cars. I'm trying to find out where I really want to go. Uh, you know what? I'm actually feeling the short... Or the race track of Nuremberg. But then again, I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll do the Nuremberg GP circuit. Three laps circuit. And uh, that's good enough for me. So now we got to select our car. So we got to get one of the new cars that are in the car pack. So we are going to start off probably with the first one that I can find. Which is probably going to be the Chevy where are you there we go I really wish I could filter these out like new and what up there's a new one I probably could sort filter your manufacturer no nope, I can't do it by new or not so but this one right here the 1976 Greenwood Corvette uh, we're definitely gonna take this thing for a rip first um, so I if if you guys have been members of the channels for a while, you guys know I used to run a different sideways wheel cam. I think we're going to go back to that cam today. Um, just, you know, a little bit of a change, you know, back to the camera setting that I used to use. So we are here at the Nuremberg GT or GP. We're going to get that wheel cam turned on. As you can see, it's from the side now. It is over there. Um, so you guys can see the hydraulic cam brake and everything and still see everything that I have set up. We are going to lock our Energy Innovations wheel in, but we, you can also see the bucket seat from Energy Innovations. Big shout out to them. Big thank you for sending me that. It definitely makes my rig so much more uh, realistic in a sense. And you can see, of course, the new snowball mic on the boom, the soundproofing on the wall, which isn't completely done yet. So uh, we're going to rip this. I do not think this thing will get sideways, although then again, it may get sideways. So we're about to find out. It sounds, uh, sounds nasty. Oh yeah. Oh, this thing looks amazing. This car is definitely a car I've been wanting to, uh, get behind the wheel of. And it just gets up and goes. We got really cold tires, so we're going to have to, uh, warm our tires up but I do want to check out that in-car that giant roll bar right in my face but so if you guys download the car pack what do you guys think of the car pack thus far have you tried building a drift van I probably will be building a drift van here very soon as well as some other drift cars 
getting these tires warmed up on this car. So we can go full send here. This thing sh should be super sticky with those giant sticky tires, but then again, I don't know. Ooh, it's actually gripping pretty well. This is definitely a car that I would uh, could see a lot of me and the team members getting uh, some close racing with. This is actually a very awesome old car. Brakes are pretty good. And uh, grip on this thing is actually pretty well. It doesn't really want to kick out sideways, which is good. I thought it was going to actually want to kick out sideways a lot more than it actually is. I mean, right there it did, but I kind of threw that in a little bit harder than I should have. It's got some really long gears to stretch, and this thing just likes to backfire. But of course, you know we're going to try and send this thing sideways like we do every single car that we get behind the wheel of, pretty much. Except that Odyssey, we probably won't until we uh, swap it or something. So this vet is actually really amazing and it's nasty quick. Go back in the in cars, you get a little bit of, you can actually see the, the quick release bolt on the window reflection. That's pretty awesome actually. Definitely want to do a full race build on this car. It just sounds nasty, so I guess we're gonna send it. Hit the button too many times. This thing is quick. So now we're gonna send it in, see what we can do if we can get it sideways. And the lock's not there. <laughs> I kinda knew that was gonna happen, but we had to try it. It does a nasty, it does a nice burnout though. This car is kind of cool and kind of fun. Yeah, this car is definitely not meant to go sideways. It is definitely meant to grip and go straight and uh, kind of turn a little bit also. So we're gonna probably stick to just uh, gripping this car like it's meant to. Well, we've pretty much made those rear tires uh, less grippy now. I do like the second cockpit view on this one. It doesn't move it too far forward, so it's a pretty pretty good cockpit view. Gets that steering wheel out of the way. The gauges are very close. I definitely like the interior and what they, the modeling of this car. This car is a lot of fun. That rear view mirror up top there is just vibrating. All right, so we're going to switch up cars now because uh, I feel like we could just start lapping this car and lose focus and just continue to lap back and you know more and more so we are going to go to a another car which i'm trying to remember oh i think it just it just locked me into uh race cars only so we got to go to race setup car type any there we go select car that's a little better See, I really wish there was a way for me to uh, just uh, select new cars, but unfortunately it's not letting me, so I have my handy dandy iPhone 10 out with the list of cars because, you know, I can't really remember them all the time. So the next one we do have is we do have the Nissan GPX Twin Turbo, which we're going to hop over to that one. Where'd you go? There's Nissan. So are you guys liking this car pack? Has Forza gotten some really interesting cars out here in this car pack and has it uh, kind of uh, killed uh, the game in a sense. I had that apparently. I've driven that already because I'm kind of curious why they're bringing out all these uh, weird cars that you wouldn't really see in a motorsports title but I guess it's kind of fun because it you know gives you a lot of different cars to drive. This car I've, it, I have a feeling is going to be extremely loud and really fast. Yep. And it's right-hand drive. And my gauge is upside down. Why is the tachometer upside down? Okay. Ooh, those turbos. This car would definitely be awesome in a very long stretch. But we decided to choose this track. 
This car wants a turbo spool. It uh, it wants to lose it on you. Oh my gosh. Um, I can see a lot of people using this car for uh, bashing in a sense in some lobbies. This car just gets up and goes. I'm kind of nervous on trying to go full throttle with this thing because tires aren't fully warmed up yet. Wow. So this car has so much acceleration. And the brakes are super touchy, but it brakes pretty well when you don't lock them up. This thing is crazy quick. Jeez, oh man. Yep. This car is definitely quick and it definitely grips pretty well. Surprisingly for the age of the car, but it has a lot of downforce and it just grips. Wow. Uh, yeah. 170 to 70 like that. Okay, I can definitely see me using this car in uh, some racing series. We're trying to get online with this and uh, having a full pack of this. this. This car is insane. Yeah, uh, definitely if you haven't driven this car, drive it. It's holy crap. The braking and the acceleration of this car is insane. And then it loses it. So definitely going to be doing probably a full blown out build on this car to see what I can get on this car for power wise. So we are going to go to our next car. Of course, we're going to have to do this again because Forza sometimes likes to glitch out uh, any. And then we're going to go, I believe, to that Maserati that I wanted to drive. I think we passed it when we shouldn't have. Where is it? There we go. Not that Maserati. Maybe it wasn't the Maserati. I mean, I wanted to drive it to see what it was like because it's, you know, extremely big. But I'm not a big fan of SUVs. So I know we do have a couple new Porsches to drive. So we're going to hop into the Porsche category. Take a look. I got a lot of Porsches apparently. There is the one that I wanted to drive also, the 1980 924 Carrera GTS, as well as we have the 1966 906. So I think we're going to start with the GTS, and uh, I could definitely see the GTS being a, uh, a drift build because it's very uh, FC reminisce, but uh, there, th this car was a lot of fun in, it was a 944 in uh, Horizon that I had some fun with. Not as fast as all the other cars that we were driving, but uh, we're gonna send this car because this car just needs to get sent. I feel it's got an open diff, but we're gonna try and make it work. I'm gonna have to do a full drift build on this car so like I was saying before do you guys like the car pack are you kind of confused on what cars they're bringing out because they've been bringing out a lot of SUVs I think this is like the first car pack that I've seen where they brought a lot of race cars and normal cars into and then they threw in that Odyssey like here have a van but I can see a lot of people already trending on building drift vans and getting you know vandoms you know, van tandems and everything like that. This uh, this car's getting it though. If it was a locked diff, some more power, this car would be a lot of fun. So if you guys want to see a build on this car, let me know down in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm not gonna hold that. I thought I could get a uh, tricky with it, but then I realized it's on its stock. I've always been able to S that turn in, but this is a stock car with a lot of body roll. 
So I think we're gonna save doing a drift build on this car for another a full drift build for another episode as well as a van drift build. So my impressions on the car pack, there's a lot of really cool cars, definitely a lot of cars that I'm gonna be using and driving. Um, a couple cars I'm gonna be doing builds on, like this car. I will definitely be doing a build on because Okay, that was pretty sweet. That was a pretty dope turn. I am just beating the crap out of this Porsche. So glad it's mine and not a rental, but I am beating the crap out of this Porsche. But it's taking it. This Porsche is definitely a fun little car. Definitely gonna wanna do a build on it. Get some more power in this car. Ooh, and a lock diff. It didn't have enough power to do what I wanted to do there. So, I feel a full build on this car would do this car some justice. But it's still getting pretty sideways right now with just uh, a stock car. Bet you it's kind of trippy in the, you know, the camera where you can see the wheel side because you can see the monitor that I'm using as well as the other monitor on the side which has the Elgato system going. It's a screen inside of a screen inside of a screen. A little uh, inception there for you. Understeer. All the clutch kicks to try and keep this thing sideways because it really does feel like it has an open diff. But it seems like it has angle to hold itself already, so I feel with the suspension kit, this car would be a lot of fun to drive. So we're gonna switch it up to the other Porsche here, give it another shot, and we will probably hop in the van just for, uh, you know, shits and giggles. So let's hop into the other Porsche, which we also got in our car pack, the 1966 Carrera. Now, I just want to do Forza on, or Forza Vista, and explode this with the doors. Uh, those seats look very uncomfortable, but that engine looks definitely amazing. I can't go around that way. Come on. Let me get. Let me. Let me. Let me look at the engine. All right, fine. So we're gonna have fun with this car. Those seats look very uncomfortable. But luckily, I'm sitting in a pretty comfortable NRG Innovations bucket seat, so I don't have to worry about that uh, weird half-bucket racing seat that's in this car. Ooh. Oh, boy. Uh, those humps are weird, and that shift light is making me short shift, so... I have a feeling this car is going to get pretty squirrely on us. Or maybe not so much as what I thought. Oh, it's got some massive understeer. Definitely can tell the age of this car with how much understeer and how big the sidewalls and tire, how thin the tires are. But we're going to rip it as much as we can. I think we're gonna drive one more car from the car pack here on this episode and then we will come back for more on the car pack with maybe some other team members or some subscribers or uh, some drift builds I kind of want to just send this car and see if I can send this thing sideways I do have a lot of fun drifting these older cars because for some reason they uh they always seem to drift pretty nice as I say that, this car fails me. This definitely has an open diff. But, we're gonna send it anyways. Yep, this car does not drift as well as some of the older cars that I've driven. So, uh, I feel like if we do a nasty build on this car, we could probably get it to drive or drift pretty well. I do like seeing those ITVs, you know, just chilling in that back window. This car actually grips pretty well. It's got a lot of throttle lift over here, I've noticed. 
but uh it's very very bouncy and unstable it's the turn in is just insane the amount of quick turn in this thing has it just has really quick turn in which is very surprising not what I expected by any means Yup, yeah, that's not gonna work. We just bounce off the tires. So we're, I think we're gonna hop, oop, wrong button. We're gonna hop into one more car here and uh, give one more car a shot. I'm trying to remember which car that I wanted to drive, which car it was. I do remember what it was now. I should have this written down, but I gotta keep checking my phone. So we are gonna go to Ferrari and give that for old vintage Ferrari a rip. There's the big Odyssey. Oh my god, it's massive. And it's front wheel drive, so we're going to have to change that. Where are you, Ferraris? There you are. We did buy a five, an F40, which we have not raced yet. And there is the new Ferrari, the 1945 Ferrari 166 into sport. Uh, it's currently at 291 horse. So, um... Definitely curious what this car is going to actually uh, do, and you just can just explode the one. Does it only have one door? It does only have one door. Well, that's different. All right, well, we're going to send it. It's a convertible. See our driver and uh, send this on the track. Give this a little go there. Oh, my God, that wheel is so big. I feel like I need the, a big you know, wood grain wheel. Oh, but it sounds sick. And what's with all the backwards? Uh... Oh, get wrecked. I uncalibrated my wheel. All right, we are good. That's the only problem with using controllers sometimes. Sometimes it trips out the wheel and makes my shifter look around instead of actually shift. Oh, brakes are not very good. Oh, it wants to get sideways. Um, so apparently we're just gonna get this car sideways because it just wants to. I didn't even handbrake that. What? The vintage drift cars, I think it's gonna be a thing. Oh, I thought we were going to hold it. So, this thing already does it must not weigh much because it's got power for days. Oh boy. That single little Cyclops brake light in the back. I feel like this car wouldn't have an actual handbrake, but you know what? We're going to send it like it does. <laughs> this car is actually a lot of fun to drive. Uh, I'm kind of surprised how well this thing handles. Clutch kick that way. I uh, locked up my one tire. This thing actually handles very well. I don't think this would be uh, legal by any means in any ESDA event. One, this thing's actually a lot of fun. I'm going to have to uh, tune the settings on this a little bit more and do a, a vintage drift car. Take it into some uh, online lobbies and uh, mess with some people. They'd probably be very confused seeing this car lining up in a drift lobby. But then again, maybe not. Maybe there's other people that are sending this car like I am. I'm not setting it that well because the handling of it is very twitchy still. I feel like a uh, mild tune on this car might make it a little bit better. But it definitely has the power to do what it wants to do. But once it gets sideways, it, uh, it gets pretty squirrely. And rumble strips don't like it. Probably because of very stiff suspension. But... Otherwise, this car is actually a lot of fun. 
So if you guys enjoyed this episode and you guys want to see more of the car pack or drift builds on any of the cars in the car pack, let me know down in the comment section down below. Like I said, probably will be doing a drift build on that uh, older Porsche, probably this as well, and uh, definitely going to be doing a drift van. Uh, I've seen when we got drift Instagram, they did a drift van, so and it looked pretty sweet kicking the e-brake and locking the rear tires up on this big van. So we're going to be doing a full drift van episode. So until next time, guys, you know you guys follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out.